Now, as the fighting rages on in Ukraine, there's a new Western stunt over fighter jets being provided to Ukraine and help being provided to Ukraine. Poland has offered to send jets to a NATO airbase in Germany and put it to the disposal of the United States. So essentially, Poland's saying that it's up to the US to send these jets to Ukraine, saying they won't send it directly. America, in turn, has rejected this offer, calling it tenable. US claims that Poland's offer to send MiG-29 jets to them so that it can be passed on to Ukraine will raise concerns for the entire NATO alliance. This is the second big betrayal after the reluctance over the no-fly zone. Remember that NATO rejected Ukraine's request for making its skies a no-fly zone. So even as Russia is upping its offensive, Ukraine President Zelensky continues to remain defiant to fight for his motherland. But what lies at the heart of the Russia-Ukraine conflict is, of course, Ukraine's bid to get NATO membership. So when this kind of a conflict broke out, you'd expect that NATO would actively help. Their silence on the war speaks volumes. And Ukraine President Zelensky now isn't shying away from taking on Western allies. Yes, I today. У 27 лідерів Європи, чи буде Україна в НАТО? Запитав. Today I've asked 27 European leaders whether Ukraine will be in NATO. I've asked directly, everyone is afraid. No one answers. But we are not afraid. We are not afraid of anything. We are not afraid to defend our country. We are not afraid of Russia. We are not afraid of talking about neutrality. We are not NATO members at the moment. But what guarantees will we get? Ukraine's bid to get membership of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization is at the heart of the Russia-Ukraine conflict that has now triggered a full-blown war. The two countries are at each other's throats. The third player, NATO, is silent over the key issues. While thousands are displaced and hundreds dead, NATO is not committing to a membership for Ukraine so far. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has also urged NATO to enforce a no-fly zone over his country's skies and protect them from Russian missiles and warplanes. NATO has not agreed to either of his demands. NATO is a defensive alliance. Our core task is to keep our 30 nations safe. We are not part of this conflict. And we have a responsibility to ensure it does not escalate and spread beyond Ukraine. Because that would be even more devastating and more dangerous. Zelensky feels let down by his Western allies. He said the West could have helped Ukraine, but they witnessed our city get bombed. As the war rages in Ukraine, NATO allies seem to have made distinctions in the help they offer. While they may supply weapons to Ukraine, they will not enter the war in any active role. Ukrainians will have to defend their land themselves. Bureau Report, India Today.